So let's walk through one of the most common ways to get started with Bitcoin, which is buying through a website like Coinbase. So first I'm going to go into Coinbase's website, coinbase.com, and I'm going to click sign up. So you can see that I'm going to start this process. I'm going to enter all my information. I'm going to select my state and I'm going to agree to the user agreement and privacy policy. All right, so now you can see that Coinbase is going to ask for me to verify my email. So I'm gonna go do that. So you can see they're asking me to verify my email. So I'm gonna click this to verify the email address. All right, so now I'm inside my Coinbase account. So you can see that I have to complete the following steps to get started with my first purchase. So right now I'm an individual purchasing Bitcoin, so I'm gonna select that. So you can enter your phone number here, but I'm just gonna do that later. All right, and as of this recording, this is what the dashboard looks like in Coinbase when you first log in. So you can see we have price charts, we have our portfolio, which right now consists of nothing, recommendations on news, and then the steps that I need to do to complete uh, creating my account. So the first step that I need to do to get started here is I actually have to verify my phone number. So this will help secure my account and make sure that when I send money that it's actually me doing so. So I'm gonna enter my phone number and then I'll meet you on the next screen. Now that I've entered my phone number, they're actually texting me a code to enter in this window. So I just simply check my phone and then I enter the number that was sent to me via text and then I secure my account. Hit verify phone number and then we're good. So now you'll need to choose how you're going to fund your Bitcoin account. You have two different options here. You can use your bank account and pull directly from there or you can use a credit or debit card. So each has their own advantage and their own disadvantage. Funding with your bank account enables you to buy a higher amount of Bitcoin, but because the banking system is so slow, it'll take four to five days to receive all of your coins. Buying with a debit or credit card the first time gives you a $300 limit, but you get all your coins instantly. There's one more instant method that isn't being shown yet because we haven't verified our identities. Once we do that, we can actually connect our PayPal account to buy Bitcoin. So I'll show you how to do that here in just a second. So let's go ahead and get started by clicking the bank account option. So go ahead and type in the name of your bank. And you'll see that as I list my bank, it doesn't show up, so I just choose other bank. Now from here, you'll choose whether you want to use your checking, savings, or business checking account and enter your routing number, account number, and full name. So I'll do this, I'll hit next, and I'll meet you on the next page. So now what's going to happen is Coinbase is going to make two small deposits into my bank account for between a cent and 99 cents. These will take two to three days to show up on my bank account statement. Once I get that statement, I'll just come back to this page and I'll enter the two different deposits in here to verify that yes, I own this account. So in a couple days, I'll get maybe a 10 cent charge and a 37 cent charge. I just have to come back in here into those two numbers and that'll verify my account so that I'm ready to buy Bitcoin with my bank. When I purchase using my bank account, the Bitcoins will show up within two to three days into my account, so they're ready to spend. All right, so now I'm back at my Coinbase dashboard. And in this case, I'm going to show you how to purchase Bitcoin with your credit card while we wait for the bank account to deposit funds in the next two days. So I'm gonna click buy slash sell. So you can see that I have to have another payment method in order to be able to buy Bitcoin since my bank account has not yet deposited uh, the two different methods we need to see here. So I'm going to click add new payment method. So you can see so far I have my bank added, but I haven't had those two deposits. So I'm going to click add payment method. And in this case, we are going to do a credit slash debit card. And from here, I just enter all my credit card info. Pretty simple. One important note is that because you're using a credit card, obviously the credit card companies have a fee here. So Coinbase is going to charge you the 3.75% credit card fee if you buy using this method. So if you need Bitcoin in a hurry, this can work. If you're gonna buy a large amount, I would definitely recommend uh, over time using your bank account or using PayPal if you have a PayPal balance. And I'll show you in just a few minutes how to go about connecting your PayPal account to Coinbase. So I'm going to enter all my credit card details and I'll see you on the next page. So now I just need to add my billing address. So I'm going to go ahead and add that and I'll see you on the next page again. So now that I've verified my address, they're gonna do the same thing they did during the bank account section. 
So Coinbase is going to make two small charges to my credit card between a dollar and a buck ninety nine, both of which will be refunded. All you have to do is just go to your credit card account, see what those two charge amounts are for, and then come back here and enter those two amounts. This just verifies that you are the account owner and that it's really your credit card. So I'm just going to click Start Charge Verification, which will start this whole process. So now I've logged into my credit card account, and you can see May 2nd, I have four different Coinbase charges. One is for a dollar just to verify the account is real, and then one they subtracted the dollar. And now you can see these are my two different transactions amounts, 135 and 181. So I'm going to go back over to Coinbase, where I've clicked the Verify button here under the credit card option. And now you can see they're asking me for the first two different amounts. So 135, 181, and now I'm just going to hit the Verify Charge Numbers button. So my credit card has been added, but because I haven't verified my identity, I can't buy any Bitcoin yet. You can see I can only buy 0.000 Bitcoin. So I'm gonna click Buy Digital Currency, which will take me to this screen, which shows me my error message that I need to go about getting my ID verified. So let's go ahead and click Submit ID to get started. To verify my identity on Coinbase, I simply need to upload a photo or a scan of the front and back of a driver's license or photo ID. So I'm gonna get started doing that right here. For the ease of use, I would suggest either using the webcam to take a front and back photo of your license, or just take photos on your phone and then use the file upload method here. That's what I found to be the easiest. So I'm gonna upload the front and back photos of my driver's license, and then I will meet you on the very next page. And so now that I've uploaded both the front and the back of my driver's license, you can see that they're verifying my ID and it'll take just a couple of minutes here to finish this process. Now that we've verified our ID, we're ready to buy Bitcoin with our credit card. So you can see that I've selected Bitcoin. My payment method is with my credit card. You can see that I can buy a max of $300 this week using the credit card. Now there are ways to increase limits, which we'll go through in just a minute, but for now, let's just go ahead and buy some Bitcoin. So I'm gonna buy a whopping $5, and you can see that it's going to cost me $5.20 because these guys are going to add on their fee in addition to the 3.75% on top of that for the credit card fee. So I'm going to go ahead and buy Bitcoin instantly. You can see 20 cent fee, $5, total of $5.20. So I just need to click confirm buy. And there you have it. You just bought your first Bitcoin with your credit card. Now I'd like to show you how to go about buying a Bitcoin on Coinbase using your PayPal account. Simply click the buy slash sell tab, and then click these little arrows over here for your payment method and select add payment method. From there, I'm going to navigate to the top and click add payment method button again, and then select PayPal account. Click verify now with PayPal, which will take you over to PayPal to log into your account. So I'm gonna log into my PayPal account. And now you can see PayPal, or Coinbase is asking me to share some of my info, so I agree. And now I can buy Bitcoin with my PayPal account. So all I have to do is click buy, choose the coin that you'd like, in this case, Bitcoin, Let's say I want to buy $5 worth of Bitcoin. You can see there's a $5.20 charge. Buy Bitcoin instantly. Yep, go ahead and confirm your transaction. Now you can see I have another $5 worth of Bitcoin. Now you know how to buy Bitcoin with your bank account, credit card, debit card, and PayPal. Now you're ready to spend them. Now that you have Bitcoins in your wallet, it's time to teach you how to send them. So all you have to do in Coinbase is go down to send slash receive. You see that I have send right now. All I need to do is find someone's Bitcoin address. So in this case, I've pulled up an account that shows a pay to address. So this is what a Bitcoin payment wallet address looks like. So you can either just copy these letters. This is the Bitcoin address. Think of this as like the phone number or the email. All I have to do is just copy that, paste it right here into recipient, 
choose the amount of Bitcoin or the dollar equivalent that I'd like to send, and then it's ready to send off. Pretty simple. So in this case, I just might type in $5, write a little message to someone, hit send funds, and they'll receive them in about 10 minutes or so. They'll get a confirmation right away, uh, but the funds will actually show up in their wallet in about 10 minutes. So that's how you go about buying and then sending Bitcoin.